and welcome to my kitchen cooking with some people. Today we're making dessert. We make dessert every Sunday so you'll see our recipe coming up every Sunday. Make sure you subscribe and you'll get an alert every time our recipe, a new recipe comes up. And today we're going to make Nutella flan. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is add your sugar. and add some water. Two to three tablespoons, depending on how much sugar you have. And you want to stir it. After you stir it, and the water and the sugar mix, you don't touch it anymore, because what happens is the sugar turns, it crystallizes if you keep stirring and stirring. I learned the hard way. So I'm going to raise the heat to medium high and then lower it if I need to. So we're just going to let it melt away until it gives it a nice caramel golden color. And then we're ready to put it in the, um, the caramel into our ramekin. So let's just let this caramelize. and you don't want it to burn on you. And now I'm going to wrap my ramekin. And it turns really quickly, so you have to act quickly. You cannot leave it on the stove and go pick up something else. No, you have to remove it really, really quick. Otherwise, you're gonna have burnt caramel and your your caramel oh, came out perfect, a golden, beautiful color. And I don't know if you see the difference between the first one and this one. See how it's a little darker? It continues to cook. So that's why you don't, as soon as it turns a golden color, you want to take it off um, the heat. Try to put um, a little bit at a time, and then if I have a little bit left over, I'll just distribute it. And be careful you don't get burned caramel, burns really badly, so please be careful. It's very easy to make. People think caramel is difficult to make, it's very Hi. easy. And welcome back. So now we're gonna make the custard for our flan. So first, I am going to pull my sleeves up, roll it up. We don't want to get the sleeves in. Okay, so what we're going to do is crack six eggs. milk. I like this blender because it combines everything together. It's really fast speed and I love it. So I'm going to add half of the 
uh, condensed milk. And the reason why I'm adding half and not the whole can is because the Nutella is very sweet and if you add a whole can plus the Nutella, it's going to be overly sweet. But we're going to have, add half. Half a can, just eye it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I am going to blend it because it's already up to almost the brim. And I am just going to pour some, not all, of the custard into a bowl. Just fun. About halfway. And what I'm replacing some of the condensed milk with is heavy cream because it's not sweet sweet so it will take its place heavy cream not only that it makes it even smoother so it's gonna be even yummier add a cup of Nutella here I have half a cup I normally don't measure it I just put it in but just so you have a visual and that's about half a cup right there the smell of Nutella why is it it's so delicious if you have a larger ninja blender that would be awesome. You could do it all in one. Some liquid coming out, but pour some out of this. And let it in. It's already all blended, but I want to really blend it really well. Because I want the Nutella to just melt into our custard. I like to cover my custard with, or my flan, with 
aluminum foil and then when it's almost to the point of done, I like to remove it. I feel like it releases some of that steam, it makes it creamier. And that's my choice, you can certainly leave it until it's done. Also another thing I like to do is I like to see the firmness of my custard before I take it out. I like to leave it a little loose because they'll continue to cook once you take it out. Not fully loose, not shaking in the middle, but just a little bit. Because what happens is, you take it out, it still has that heat, it continues to cook, and then when you take it out, it's so yummy and creamy. If you overcook it, it's not as creamy. And you want that custard to just melt in your mouth. I got a smaller um, tray. I have a huge cookie tray because I'm not making that many while I'm making eight today. Usually I have it, the huge cookie tray filled with them. Everybody loves flan. Welcome back. So my flans are out and 
I just gave them a little touch on the top and they bounce back so they're perfect. They're not overdone. And we're just gonna take it out of the Baño Maria. And let them cool. I like to let them sit one or two days in the fridge covered um, once they cool because it just tastes so much better when they're sitting in the fridge just all those ingredients settling down together and just uh, when you take them out two three days no two days about when you take them out two days later they're just so yummy the caramel is already all melted and watered down and just delicious going to let it cool going to let them cool down and when we come back we are gonna play. Hi and welcome back. Our dessert has been settling in the refrigerator for a few hours but my suggestion is to leave it at least one day. Um, I went through all the way around with a knife and now let's help it invert. Place it here. And there you are. And when you leave it in the fridge for a day or two, this caramel here will start to melt away and it will give you a whole lot more caramel. Want some of that caramel here? Just put a little bit on a Nutella. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and it just melts the Nutella a little bit. right on top and then we're going to drizzle a little bit of that condensed milk first i'm going to add a nice cute little cherry on top and we're just going to drizzle some of this condensed milk as much as you like So Nutella, that one is not that sweet. Remember, we didn't put that much condensed milk into it, so it's really not that sweet. Your Nutella flan is absolutely delicious. I am going to have it with some coffee. If you like to have our dessert with coffee. Coffee. A little bit of sugar. I have some brown sugar. And I have some milk that I've warmed up. Spanish, we like to warm up our milk for our coffee. We like to keep our coffee nice and hot. It's almost like a latte. Delicious. Enjoy.